Hello my fellow Enclave members, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, last time we have researched, researched, and researched for our military expansion and industrial expansion as well. So, a few things. There, I gotta first address this. Probably yesterday's video had the most comments I've ever had on a single video on this channel before, so I thank you for all your support. You guys watching, liking videos, even just commenting. At the time of this recording, there's 70 comments on there. Thank you to everyone who comes around and watches and supports the channel, regardless. So, I asked you guys yesterday with our focus stream, should we go with streamlined power armor production or plasma weaponry? Now, I love both. I, li I really like both. And I asked you guys several other questions, but even though this is not a democracy, I still respect the people's choice. And even though I would love to do plasma weaponry, we have chosen to do streamlined power armor production because god dang, we need more power armor. <sighs> and I love it. And to get a time penalty reduction for it. So even though I love plasma weaponry, I love this too. So by focusing our efforts on power armor production, we can begin to further advance and improve upon the venerable T-51B, X-01, and even the X-02 power armor systems, further widening the gap between ourselves and those who dare steal American military assets. Absolutely. Now we have a focus, of course, still against the 80s, which we're not going to do. A couple other things. I asked you guys for names yesterday. Names for groups. Now, I've split my groups up into two, my armies into two major groups. First of all, it's a power armor, where we have the Ghost of Navarro, and of course, Fire and Brimstone. It really might be Brimstone and Fire, but that's okay, regardless, whatever. But we have another group, which we have Remnants joining us. So we have first Nevada Corps, second Nevada Corps, and Granite Defense Company, which is kind of interesting to think, since we already got rid of Granite. Um, he already left. Regardless, these guys are 20 combat with. These guys are some thick dudes. But we do need a general. But I did ask you guys yesterday, before we move on to the other part of the army, what should we do regarding quality, or quality down here, power armor, versus quantity? Regardless, we're going to lose recruitable population factor. Is 10% production cost better than armor, hardness, and breakthrough. Well, we're going to do both. We're going to choose quantity first so we can produce as much as possible and then eventually switch over, I think we should be able to, should be able to, to qual quality PA. When we go to war with the NCR, I will try to switch it over to quality just so that we can lose less people. But right now, we need more power armor, which brings me up to my next point after that. So quantity, here we go. Actually, let's get another general for this person first because we need one. Uh, Charles Beatty, planning speed, attack strong, fast metabolism. You know, I don't like that supply consumption, but I'll gladly accept them into the ranks. Power armor, attack, and speed. Aw, oh, yeah. Gun nut, robotic rage, nerd rage. Cool. So, next point. People have been to telling me in the comments. Attack Yakuza territories, attack Vault City, attack the Antelope tribes. Yes. Yes, all of them. I will attack them eventually in time. But I'm not going to attack the Yakuza territories because they are allied with the Steel Rangers, and I cannot afford a border with the Western Brotherhood of Steel just yet, at least on two fronts. When we somehow beat the NCR, which we will eventually, maybe by the end of this episode we'll go to war with them, I don't know. But when we beat the NCR, I cannot afford a two-front, three-front war. So, I'm going to keep the Yakuza territories alive unless they attack us. Ooh, what is this going on right here? Hide activity, that's good. We get some more caps, dirt, dump the dirty FEV. Field the Veterans. Uh, oh, we'll do that eventually once we get our max cap. When, once we hit our max cap for our power armor. So that's a good thing to do as well. Oh, we have some free civilian factories. I think not. Build it up here, if you can. Also, transferring stuff from Lawless Wasteland doesn't work right now just because... Uh, well, we don't have Lawless Wasteland. We're just patrolling these areas first. And using robots to do so. Someone also suggested expand my robot production because it costs way less manpower. And the divisions are pretty good overall. And I completely agree, but... I need more power armor. I need more guns. I need a lot more of everything, to be frank with you. But we can only get about two political power a day, which is why I chose to do quantity first, and eventually we'll choose quality. Now this is a lot of power armor production. Special forces capacity multiplier, plus 55%. Nice. Let's go ahead and first... Well, we still need to poison the bear, but we need to be ready at a moment's notice to do that. We're going to clear out the natives, because the Troll Warren are dead, and they have a focus, I think, against Modoc or Antelope tribes, but let's do it first together. To the north, there are several tribes of devoted ab-human mutants who squat upon resources, and more importantly, American soil. It is time we eradicate this blight. So, here's what we're going to do. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to move you over here, because you guys 
You'll be the front line. You know what? I lied. I lied. I completely lied. We're coming back over here. Because you guys will be the front line. Because we're going to use you guys to pair drop, and then we're going to use you guys to break through the lines if needed. If needed. To rescue those power armor divisions. Oh, we've got some political power. What are we going to use these guys for and or with? Major businesses? We'll probably go with power armor manufacturing. Maybe? Maybe not. Infrastructure, outposts. Outposts could be good. This stuff is garbage. Over here, fortification. Uh, war industrialists. Research speed. More daily lead support doesn't matter at all right now. Just save it because we're going to have to do this again for now. Good. So, let's make sure we do this. Enclave remnants. You guys come from New Reno to the capital. You guys come from New Reno. Come to Denio. Hopefully they don't have these places really well garrisoned modoc and that should be it so just in case we're gonna slap some of these bad boys back on the capital again and then you guys do that to denio that should be it that's probably all we really need for this do modoc just in case because that's pretty close we can probably get up there if we need to pretty quickly just in case uh lieutenant mary orwich anything here pain train good just gonna keep that on there for now Good, and you guys will be absolutely necessary for what we have in store for these people. Good. And we got over 6,000 manpower, which is awesome radio, huh? Hope you're all having a great day. Time to listen to some tunes on the radio, get some decryption, that'd be nice, and we'll soon have dedicated equipment. Ah, oh, gotta love Enclave Buttermint Tea. Dedicated equipment, thank you. That's way too ahead of time for me to do anything about that, way too ahead of time. Energy cell wise, we might build some purification stations, some power generators, and stuff like that. But we'll wait. We'll wait first. All right, got that there. You might as well do that. Uh, you might as well do that too. And about a week left. Let's let time go on, because at this point, hmm, I think I'm gonna wait for the NCR to really go to war with Kaisar's Legion. Now that's gonna cost us a lot of political power, but 2.15. That's a lot of day, every day. So, and. It's going to cost us 90 for now. Hmm, we'll see what happens when we get more territory first. Training programs would be great. We're going to need some of this eventually, especially for our infantry, because they need it. Support robots are nice. I could make some robot divisions, Mr. Handy divisions. Is there only eight combat width? i got to make them at least 10. i got to make them at least 10. Have to. I have to. All right. Anything around here? Feel the veterans? Not yet. So, we were at 0.2 every day for making power, now we're at 0.5. That's very nice. Frequency analysis, good, good. Radio detection, uh, go and grab that, that's fine. For you, go ahead and grab that as well. Research speed is key to our success. Encounter with the Crimson Caravan, no witnesses, clearing out the natives, good. Next up, we shall immediately do, ooh, slave labor. Yeah, let's, we need more output. So, by enslaving the abhuman mutants, they can be of use in the rebuilding of America, finding some purpose to their wasteful existence and service to us. Absolutely. Are we poised to go? I believe so. You guys, you will do bombardment of this area. You will do a bombardment of North North Nevada just because it's a little better for us. Let's go ahead and go to war. You guys will drop just fine. And can we land before we even do anything? Boom! Uh, they're not dying yet, so go ahead and take them out. Uh, where's their capital? We've lost zero guys so far. And there they go. We have lost no guys, they've lost 69. Nice! Nice! And are they gonna capitulate? Like, bro, there, you, there they go. I No, we can't even puppet them. That sucks. And that's okay. Now, we could do Lawless Wasteland here. We could just let them run around and be simpletons and fools, but that's okay. Ah, Vault City demands territory. They have the audacity to demand of us territory. How should we proceed? Should we crush their miserable ambitions at once or delay them by giving in for enough time to annihilate them utterly? We are going to deal with them appropriately. So, my soldiers, welcome back to the line. Welcome back. And Vault City has chosen incredibly poorly. My goodness. But this is what I was waiting for the entire time. Go and hold. We don't need any more losses for now. And I need you guys. We get Uno. From New Reno. You're going to land right at Gecko because that will turn into the capital once you capitulate them. 
you guys come from here to right there it's always good to have a few divisions to break them up because once these guys pair drop uh, they could be out of organization that's never good even if they're power armor that's never good the courtyard and just in case we're gonna double stack on vault city proper you never know good and then you guys you're gonna just break through as fast as you can right here to get to both vault city and the courtyard they make demands of the enclave are you kidding me no 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 you don't make demands of the enclave the de enclave de make de makes demands on you oh words are hard and that's okay actually we didn't get any more factories from that oh well we have nine but ah we did technically get no well, nothing maybe yeah nothing acclimatization training i know we should research all this stuff let's make these guys even stronger and stronger Get some organization first. And now we have polyalphabetic ciphers. Good. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Gliders. Well, we can get some bonuses over here. But that's okay. Air doctrine. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's get gliders so we can do our air doctrine. That'll come in handy quite a bit. Working conditions. Anything interesting? Attack. That's what we're going to do next, probably. Energy self expert. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Come on. Come attack me. See what happens. See what happens to your precious little vault city. And they have declared war. I didn't even have to waste time to do a focus to do that. The fall of vault city. Gecko has fallen. Oh. Almost defeated there. Courtyard. You guys. Immediately move out. And. Grab the close air support. Wait. Spate. Close air support. And attack them immediately. And they're gone. They chose incredibly poorly. And we didn't even lose a single guy. They didn't even, they didn't even lose anyone either. It's beautiful. There we go. Nice. Now that's a nice enclave. <sighs> Just beautiful. Look at the... Wow, that's a lot. I don't think we really need more mutants, but that's a lot of guns. That's so many guns. I'm going to do that. We get some doggos. Eh, doggos are okay. We really need more power armor. Beautiful. I love air dropping on these guys. Beautiful. Just... Absolutely beautiful. Alright. So the next Enclave Division we make will have to come to this here. Soldier caught out, out of uniform. During one of his dreaded surprise inspections, Sergeant Dornan caught a private out of his standard issue power armor. The soldier cited ma maintenance, but no such request was filed. Dornan wasted no time in demanding 1,000 push-ups as you ha happened by. Cut the boy some slack. I'm gonna let the sergeant do his job. No questions asked. Slave collars. That actually looks really good. We get more output. More daily compliance. I like that. The Modak. Oh, we get some more power armor. That's... Oh, God. That kind of handy. Take... Um, we should just be able to clear that out. There we go. Take Vault City. It's done. Ransack the labs. Medical technology is of an immeasurable value to our purposes due to our low numbers compared to the mutants. The labs of Vault City have many pre-war medical technologies as well as their own advancements. Furthermore, the advanced state of the city compared to the rest of the waste have given rise to the notion that we may be dealing with more than degenerative mutants in this case. Maybe in this case. Maybe. War support? Hmm. Oh, we want that one guy, so. You guys hold on. You guys prepare for a pair drop. Uh, we might actually go to war, war with someone else. Just in case, we can let time go on, but you're gonna pair drop here first. Two Shady Sands, which I'm sure they'll have someone garrison there. The AI might be stupid, but even they know to garrison some things. Occasionally. Cool. Next up will be... Man, we're researching things quickly. I love it. Vehicles. Get some vehicles. Maybe get some tanks eventually. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You all. Six research slots is never enough. I forget which campaign I was playing, in which we had like seven or eight. It might have been the Yakuza t territories. Save their own little sub mod and focus tree. Which is a ton of fun. Tons of fun. Uh, you guys come to the boneyard. The boneyard's, boneyard's super important to get. Dana point. That's 20. That's. Oh, yeah. That was that one. Mass pair drops. If we can take Shady Sands. Oh, that'd be so good. Alright, next one. Hmm. That'd be nice. Train dogs. Get some dynamite. That's always helpful. Riders. That'd be good. We don't need that. We don't need that. Riders. It's good for suppression. I'll give them that. White legs, a new cane, I have sight, and a white piece. Good. A new power emerges in Utah. Good for them. Power armor's doing better. Guns are doing great. Dogs are not bad either. 
We're doing better on support robots. Manpower hasn't really gone up that by that much more. We're actually mobilizing still. Kaiser's Legion. Oh, Kaiser. Go ahead and do that too. Great. Ah, oh, the Great Khans. Good. They're taking out Hoover Dam. Delightful. We're doing that. Oh, I'm really. Every time I play Old World Blues, I'm always conflicted. Should I go for even stronger special units, you know, special forces units, or should I just get more? That's always a decision I'm not sure what to take. My god, we got so much political power here. Uh, you know what? It's time for a little offensiveness. 20% more attack. That's a lot. And that T. Hmm. Enclave T is just bueno. I wonder where they put their forces. If anything, we'll probably strike to get to Sac City quickly, maybe? I might use my power armor to help just to feed all of Northern California first. Or if we just have two pieces of power armor, you can go from New Reno. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. You do... Uh, which one's... Loss? Oh, I don't know which one's better. Tijuana? Well, come here because there's a port nearby. So, there you go. And we got to make sure it actually works. So, you're on that. There you go. Tijuana. Uh, there we go. Now, I'm going to leave two here just because two divisions is all you need to break through. Wait, what is that? High water trousers? The following effects of the army for the next seven days? Jesus Christ, 25% breakthrough! Holy crap! 20% offensive and deep... Oh my god, that's... Ah, oh, wow, wow, wow. That's a lot. Cool. Next up, we could, we could have honorary humans. We get, a, we get a free core on them. But, given the decisions we've made earlier... We'll do that. But let's do slave collars first. Pioneered by pre war scientists as an effective method of control in prison camps and research experiments, this will allow us to control the slave populace more efficiently and with minimal risk. It's, all, it's very good to minimize our risks. How much is it going to cost us to hide next? That's a good question. I probably need to start saving some political power up for that. I love slave labor. Ah, the Pale Folk. Oh, wow. Now we'll have a border with the rifle territory. Oh, come on. Oh, you're actually getting beaten back by the... What? Is something wrong with the Legion? Please don't tell me there's something wrong with the Legion. I need them to be strong. They're doing their focuses. They're not, like, glitched out. Yeah, they're doing that. Please tell me they have manpower. Oh, they have almost no manpower. Oh, that's not good. Uh, next up... Well, we're going to use them eventually. Might as well do that. I'm a little worried about this. I still need them to go to war with the, the uh, NCR. That is our ticket. Our easy ticket to do well against them. And before I go to war with anyone else, I really need to see how much it's going to cost. 120? That's not bad. Oh, no, it's 170. Oh, God. Hmm. You can hold that military th committee. Dinamite? Very good, very good. Recon for our soldiers, for infantry, that'd be nice. Slave colors, I love slaves. I love slaves. We can't do that because we don't believe in super mutant slaves too much. No, 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 we're going to purify the city. So, with the city in our hands, we can begin cleansing it of mutant menace, leaving only those few unmutated long enough to be considered human. <sighs> Just as the Enclave wanted. Beautiful. If you need to train, go right ahead. We've conducted two wars with zero losses. That's how wars need to be won. Uh, Nerd Rage, that might be worth it for you guys. Robots, robotics expert just makes sense. You know what? These guys are 10. I really want to be 20 combat with. These guys are only light robots. They're not that strong. Uh, I don't mind helping them out a little bit, getting making them a little harder. That's not bad to me. All right, we got enough. We can still hide from them, which is good. We can still hide. Oh, Crimson Athletes are up there. Oh, hmm. They might take out the Kemalt Station then. The Aedes are getting large. I'm glad they're, they're getting large and in charge. The White Luck is getting huge as well. Come on, please. Take out the Dam Busters. They get a couple of divisions. They, oh, they're out of manpower. Brahmin Eye, Kaisar. 
also has no manpower. So, actually, can I send divisions to help him out? <sighs> no one wants us to help them out. We're not allowed to send volunteers. Eh, hey, but we do have ten factories. Oh, they're also fighting the Great Khans. So we got some doggos coming along. Not bad, not bad. And we have Atsalan. No one cares about them right now. Gliders, no one cares about gliders. Dynamite, yes, please. Gives you guys a more of a fighting chance. Purify the city, and then we shall repair the power plant. In their ignorance, the people of Vault City were never capable of restoring the nearby power plant to its full potential. With the city fully secured, we can send in our engineers to complete the task. We get more electricity. Combat robot cell usage goes down by minus red 50%. Same for support robots, combat robots. And our energy capacity goes way up. Marrow drinkers... Oh! Hello! Now, I'm kind of glad this happened, because if the Crimson Acolytes win, they do have the ability to take out Kemalt Station, which I think they might be able to get down to Modok if they really wanted to as well, which would be a not bueno thing. Uh, anything here of super interest? Not a super interest. No, I'll just grab that, because we can. Unobstructed piloting, that'd be great. Wow, they are just kind of smashing through the Crimson Outclass. I can imagine that they probably don't have a lot of manpower. It's not an easy nation to play as. Let's see. Grab that. Cool, let's let the time go on. Build ourselves up still. Watch as the NCR does their thing. I don't think the Brotherhood's going to really attack them, though, which is a little disappointing. I'd love to see. Hold bonds? No. We want to see drawing the sword. Love sword, Navarro nothing, Sidville steel, victory or death, where is that, Kings of the Wasteland, surface tension, old bonds, joins, oh, joins them, hmm, where's the Civil War one, Citadel steel, forge of victory, hmm, well, regardless, it doesn't really matter, next up, we shall grab Chief of the Navy, Air Force, oh, well, that's not bad, that's pretty good to do, actually, that's not bad, 3% more attack on gunners, that's pretty good. You fall ill, that's fine. Currently get 9 people a month, not bad. Recon teams, elite breakthrough tactics, guerrilla tactics, good. Uh, grab that, we actually should probably use that, because our infantry, they're very susceptible to attacks. Oh, we need to do this. Purity. Oh, absolutely, we're going to become purists. We already are purists. Specialized alloys, good. Heavy left robots just to unlock them, because we can. Repairing the power plant, good. Next up... Well, we can't even send them, so that'd be a complete waste. Uh, we're still going to just research speed, war support. It's not bad. Major businesses. Oh, god dang it. I never know what I want to do here. Power on research time, max speed. You know what? Just make these guys the best possibly can for now. So, next focus. We can grab that. We can poison the bear. We get a war goal of whoever owns Carson City. So we can sack it or use it. I want to poison. I do want to go to war quickly, but we gotta wait. The Modoc County Military Cache. Unbeknownst to them, the natives were squatting on a sizable cache of pre-war military equipment. With them cleared out, we can focus on recovering said equipment for our purposes, which helps us greatly with scavenge power armor, which isn't great, but right now, we ain't doing too bad if we make 1.3 a day. That is really good. Let's see, right here, we get some... You know what? I don't want to see this trash. This is... No. Trash. Don't make trash. Trash is trash. Thank you. Next up. I can't add any more divisions here. We need to make this division first. What are we missing here? Power armor. We're just missing power armor. Then we'll stop making them, and then we're going to recruit those three other divisions to help us out. Good. Scrap shacks. Not bad. Not bad. It's 2279. Happy 2279, my friends. This is going to be an interesting year. 180. That's a lot. Feel the veterans. We'll do that soon enough. Six divisions. Come on, God, our Legion, did you win yet? No, they have not. Oh, wait, did they? Are they at peace? No, they're, they're still fighting, kind of. Justify, oh wait, I can justify a war on them, huh. What are these guys up to? We have an extra division up there. Another Enclave division, good. If you need to train, train. The Mora County military cache is done, good. Next up. Or do God bless the Enclave, why not? Well, we have plenty of reasons to remember the past, it is time to look forward to the future, an American future, free of the mutant menace occupying our beloved homeland. God bless the Enclave, God bless America. Good. Population, stability, less, justify world goals time, more organization, mobilization speed, and further boost our power armor cap. And after that, we might just go to war at this point. I'm kind of tired of waiting. I'm surprised they haven't attacked the Veil Bandits yet, which makes no sense. The Baron of 
parents. Ah, the NCR buyout. Remove Baron buyout. Ah, so they're having issues right now. They're having some serious issues. Oh, a couple good amount of manpower, a lot of those guys. Is this resist no, there's no resistance up here. These are still no, that was a colony state, it's not resistance. No, it's resistance, it's just colony states. Interesting. Interesting. Come on, guys, our legion, please. Beat them up. Keep attacking. Or defending, or whatever. Hmm. Cyclops tribes. Let us do this first. And then we'll go to war with Cyclops tribes, maybe. Oh, god dang, that's a long time. That's a really long time. Good. Control. Crowd gear will help save on manpower. Advanced power armor. I mean, god dang, that's beautiful. That is. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Uh, plain stuff, plain stuff. This stuff. Definitely get some power armor stuff. Good. Heavy lifter robots. Give them more reliability. How strong are these NCR divisions, anyways? They do have anti tank, which is really not good for us. And Adobe Housing. Thank you. Go and grab bricks. Uh, go and do that too. 170, not bad. Do this first, get our focus done, justify on these guys, take them out, airbase raid, good stuff, motorized flight, not bad. Uh, go and grab that. And we want to get even more ground attack for our close case for planes. Ah! God bless the Enclave! Now, with us attacking, if they have, if these guys, if the NCR attacks the Veiled Bandits, huh? You know what? How strong are the Veiled Bandits? It's not bad. Oh, they have a lot of divisions. They don't have a ton of manpower, but they have a lot of divisions, especially if they're allied together at choke points. That isn't too bad. I think it's time. You know what? We've been waiting so long, I'm gonna poison the bear. Now, if this doesn't work out, you're gonna see me fade in and fade out probably about like right here, if this doesn't work out, or you know, when we declare war. So I just wanna let you know, I may fade in, I may fade out, but the time has come to lay waste to those renegade upstarts of California who defile this nation with their very existence. Today we avenge Navarro, control station enclave, and all those murdered by the NCR. Today we mount the bear's head on the wall of history. We go to war, get war support, now they lose 30% division organization, 90% monthly population, division attrition goes up by 100%, and they lose another 30% to stability, division attack, and division defense. Which is, honestly, sounds incredibly crippling. Which it is. There you go, good. Now you guys down south have to hold on for a little bit. Just hold on for a little bit. They can stack everyone they want here. But just hold on for a little bit. Be prepared. Be prepared. Do not give them an inch. For the love of God, I hope you don't give them an inch. Do not lose your... Oh, that's their little capital, so that's not good. Oh, this is the perfect time to go to war! They declared war on the Brotherhood of Steel at the same time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, they're spreading out. Oh, boy. We might have to re... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They already took... Oh, God dang it. Which one is going towards the hub? Um... We can remove you, and they'll go somewhere else. Shady Sands might actually get taken out as well. Oh, this is... I'm glad I waited for this. Whew. You guys do that. You guys come to Sac City, then. Yeah, Sac City has probably 20 victory points. I can't really tell, because... Like I said, a mission over it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, they're actually pushing him back. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. You guys have to go immediately... Get the close air support just in case we have not lost a single plane yet. Now this is dangerous. I do not want uh, the fall of shitty sands. NCR is wounded, but not yet mortally. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. If they lost that victory point, this is going to not be good for us after the war because we have to go to war immediately with the Brotherhood because I got to get Navarro to, so we can start cloning our peoples. Uh, I'm glad we're still there. Let's go get this Indian reservation. Good, you're good. Come on, come on, come on. Finish the focus. Oh, they're gonna die. They're literally gonna die here. Hmm. I'm probably gonna be a little cheesy here and actually use gamey tactics to take out the NCR and make sure I don't have a war with the Steel Rangers. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty gamey, probably. 
is going to not look very good on me. Oh well. That's so much political power. Holy crap, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Spend time on that anymore. Uh, I, mm, I can't deploy them either. Oh, I can't even deploy them, period. That's fine with me. Just go deploy the veterans then. If we can. How many more days we got? We got two days. That's fine. And this is this is the end of the NTR. Poison the bear. Good. Good. NTNCR propaganda. We have to be at war. We only have 20 days to do this. Reclaim the California. We gotta do this one. So, though our younger members may not remember their crimes against us at Navarro, we have many reasons to seek the destruction of the NCR. Let us compile our grievances into broadcasts to remind our soldiers why we fight. NCR broadcast thingamabobs. Good. So how far before we do anything? How far are they to capitulation? 41%. Not bad, not bad. But those ground forces move and move out and capture it. We got it. We got the capital. We got the boneyard. We got Dana. We need to get Dana Point next. Oh, I sent two guys here, huh? Capture that water base. We've landed in Tijuana. We gotta get some supplies over there too. We. Uh, that's the capital of the wasteland. Uh, hello. Wait, hold on. Establish an outpost. Uh, oh, that, there's a lot of resistance. Bringing it under our direct control. Nice. Now, I mean, we'll have to work with this, but that's okay. How close are they? They're closer. They're definitely closer. Ooh, Enclave Veterans. Hello there. You're only 12 and a half combat with it, which is, which is very disappointing, but whatever. So we've got guys surrounded completely, which really sucks. But, oh, we didn't get Junk Town. God dang it. They should capitulate soon enough. Go ahead and come down here to take the port. Everyone else should do okay-ish. If they kind of hang out. You guys are splitting up, which is fine. We have the Boneyard. Oh, we might lose a few divisions here. We might just lose them. I'm going to request you break this way. You should be able to. Come on. Up, oh, up. Oh. They took that tile. That's good. Come back this way. Come to Dana Point. Screw the these guys doing that over there. I need you to come to Southern California. Now, we have a port here. We might get some convoys in here. Good. And you need to come down here. Come on, please be able to get Dana Point. They reclaimed the boneyard, dang it. Ah, the brother that's down here, though. That's good. Mm, yeah, we're going to lose a few of these divisions, probably. Ah, Taiwan is the capital now, again. You know, beat these guys up first. Awesome. We rescued that division. That's fine. You guys come here. Beat them up. And then we're going to... Oh, they took it. Good. Good. Hold. Oh, God dang it. This is probably a really bad idea. Ooh. Oh, you guys are getting attacked like crazy. I need you guys to focus this direction. And I need you all to, like, attack like crazy, please. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Just capitulate them. I don't want to lose anyone. Go to the boneyard. You guys just hold out. Anti NCR propaganda. Extend presidential powers. The Enclave president is more powerful than any their, than any of the pre-war equivalents. But and nonetheless, though, limited by certain restrictions. Of course, we still are. In the face of our final victory against the NCR, we can remove these limitations and grant our president total power over the Enclave and America. Oh yeah, get the boneyard. If we can get the boneyard, it still won't be enough. Oh, they got it. Nice, they got it. I need you to break down here to link up. Our guys encircled. But he's break, making a break over there, which is good. Greater Day Glow needs to be ours. Thank you. Another division. Another Enclave division. Great. Oh, there's a couple guys encircled. Good. Kill them off. There's of no peace. Break through. You can rescue that. We rescued one. Go on, already come here. Well, it's only command power. Go ahead and do that, and use this. Non-discriminatory targeting. Very nice. Airborne assault? I think so. We've not lost that much manpower either. Anti-NCR propaganda. We get more weekly war support, which we really don't need. Remember the rig. Division organization recovery rate war support for 50 days. Attack against them? Oh, we can do that. Remember Navarro. For 50 days, we get more division organization. You know, let's do both. We have, we have the political power for it. And fuel the veterans. FEV. Oh, plague mutation. Oh, that's not good. We need to dump the dirty FEV too. 
That'd be good. Come on. Chaos. Chaos throughout the NCR. We need Greater Day Glow. We need the Long 15. We need to keep that one too. But if we lose that and we get this one instead, that's fine with me. Nice. Come on, Link Up. We've lost one of these divisions so far. Not good, not good. They're done. They're done. Oh, we couldn't even extend a presidential dictatorship. Ah, uh, dang it. Well, probably, I might just auto-complete that focus force anyways. But, that's where we're going to leave today's episode, my friends. We have done it. We have done well with the Brotherhood and the Steel Rangers. But tomorrow, we'll have to take out the Steel Rangers and the Western Brotherhood. But... Thank you very much for watching. If you liked today's video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow, in which we will go to war with the Western Brotherhood of Seal. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.